Hey guys, I'm Gareth from Fuel by Success. So today we're going to go off and do an RA run, retail arbitrage. Um, just in the office at the moment, I'm taking Jamie with me as well. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a run around and just see basically what we can find. Um, like retail arbitrage has been a massive part of uh, my business uh, since the very beginning. It's how we started. We started with about 700, 800 pounds on a credit card. Um, yes, it was on a credit card because at the time, um, you know, I didn't really want to go into my personal sort of available money at that point in time. So that's how we started. We used the credit card um, and just kept reinvesting that money back in. Uh, retail arbitrage, I found, was one of the easier ways to get started. You'll hear a lot of people uh, that are doing um, sort of Amazon FBA and things like that. And when they do the videos and things like that, a lot of people will say, oh, I did retail arbitrage and then we moved into online arbitrage. And they'll tell you all about online arbitrage, but never really go into detail about retail arbitrage. Now, retail arbitrage is an area where I still think to this day it can be used in your business very effectively. I wouldn't say we use it as a main string anymore to our business, but it's definitely one that we've kept added to the bow because at the end of the day, if it's still going to make you money and profitable, why would you not use that? So from the very beginning, some of our retail arbitrage finds have still to this day been our best sellers. Um, I've talked about things in the past, such as like Pieface as an example, was one of our absolute brilliant finds over last year um, for, for the Christmas period through Q Q4. Um, and you know that that particular product we couldn't find even in our wholesalers at the price that we was getting it from a retail arbitrage find basis. So you know it's something to definitely keep your eyes open for. Keep looking out, seeing what you can find. If you're new to Amazon and you're thinking about starting an Amazon FBA company, I personally still believe that retail arbitrage is the best way to learn your craft. You know it's quite easy to pick up your phone. Uh, download the Seller Central app, and then off you go. You go into the stores, you can use the app to scan the barcodes of products, which I'll show you in this video, and you'll be able to see that it then comes up with the ASINs and the products for those particular purchases. Now, once you've found those products, you, it'll also give you a little calculator to work out the profit margin. You can put in the price you're buying it for. If you're not that registered at the beginning, even better, you're making a great profit return then on those items. So definitely worthwhile. We still use retail arbitrage even within the company now that we run. Um, and we've now moved into you know, online arbitrage and also wholesale, of course, as well. But we still keep doing the retail arbitrage runs because there's still products that we cannot find elsewhere, um, you know, that are at any better priced. So if we can find them still, then we'll still get them. So we're about to set off on the journey. Let's see what we can do. So we're about to go in here into the store um, today. We're just gonna go check it out and see what we can find. Let's go. So basically what we do is go around the store just using the Seller Central Scanner app to find products that might fit the bill for us for our Amazon store. Um, you take out your app, you scan the items and just check to see if they will match what you need. So check the seller's rank, just like you would do as if you're doing OA or anything like that. I'm going to show you now. Okay, so we just need to find a product to scan. So we'll take these Kleenex as an example. So you just need to open the Seller Central app and then use the scanning barcode facility. So this is just an example, more for somebody who's like not that registered because of the profit on return. So we find the product, make sure it matches the product identically. You can see at the top there, it shows you the seller's rank and what uh, category it's in. So health and personal care in this instance. 
On here, you'll see the price it's selling at. You need to make, you need to change the cost of purchase to whatever it would be to, to buy that product. And it'll show you in green, highlight at the bottom, how much profit you're going to make from that product after the seller's fees and also the cost of that product is taken out. Uh, so in this case, you're making nigh on back what you paid for it. Also good to check who's selling on it. So you want the prime seller's price or one pound above the self-fulfilled sellers. And then you can also check like the details in here as well. Okay, so we've just been in and done the shop. Um, pretty good one. Not the best that it's normally is like it, we can get from there. So it's so a little bit more subdued this particular shop, but not, not a bad one, I don't think. We'll get back to the warehouse and we'll talk a little bit more. Hey guys, so we've got back to the warehouse and um, we've just put all the stuff down. Not a massive haul like we've just mentioned, but it's uh, still a good one, still a good one. Um, we spent approximately about £225, I believe it was, uh, hoping to get a return on investment of around about £420 back from that spend, which is not bad at the end of the day. It's, uh, it's a good little find. What I found with retail arbitrage, though, is that... A lot of those items that we've purchased today are sort of replenishable items. So it's things that we have found when going in and doing an RA run um, that we couldn't find using online arbitrage or we couldn't find using our wholesalers at the prices that some of these stores, they're still you know, knocking them out at. So what I found is retail arbitrage is still a very important part of our business, uh, even though we've moved into wholesale and also OA as well. But... Um, the, we've also come away with a few new items as well. So that's the great thing. You know, you scan a few items, you find new items. So um, we probably spent maybe about half an hour to 40 minutes in one store and spent £225. Now, if you imagine going to another store, you know, maybe 10 minutes away, doing the same thing again, another store, same thing again, you can see quite quickly you can spend upwards of £1,000 in these stores and come away with great, you know, profit margin returns. Uh, as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, it's even better if you're a new starter. If you're not VAT registered yet already, um, so you get the full profit margin back into your business until you hit that VAT threshold, then even better with retail arbitrage because what you scan and see in those profit indicators is exactly what you're going to make back uh, instead of having to work out the VAT, um, you know, to knock off as well from your purchases. But yeah, good find today. Really happy with that. Um, Jamie really helped me out today. Found some good little items as well. So it's always good when you've maybe sometimes got that backup with you as well. I've found um, it's a fresh pair of eyes sometimes. Sometimes you can, because we've been doing it for so long now, it gets to a point where you may be sort of flicking over things because you you know you get an eye for the type of things in the stores that you're looking for. There's certain products um, that you'll look out for, brand names, so on and so forth, that you're trying to find. And if you spot something, you know, you'll, you go for it. I, I have to admit, I, I don't go as scan crazy as I used to do right at the very beginning of our business. But um, the, I think that's something that I do need to do still. Now... You know, going forward with our business, it probably won't be me going out and doing the scanning anymore as much. It'll be somebody else within the business that we'll send out. We only go out probably now once a week now to supplement um, our business. Whereas when we first started, we was going out near enough every day, scanning, finding the items. There is plenty of scope still to be able to do that, um, you know, if you wish to. If you're a beginner, that's exactly where I would start. I would get your app, the Seller Central app, get yourself into the local stores, you know, find those items. Um, books are fantastic from what I'm being told now. Uh, it's not something that I've ever really massively gone into, but I have now since talking to other sellers and things. You know, we'll go into the bookstores, we'll scan those books and try and find the great textbooks and so on and so forth. But then it's also the toys and, uh, you know, anything else, basically. Groceries, everything you can get yourself into, all the departments you can get unlocked. But, you know, don't give up on retail arbitrage, guys. I'm going to keep showing you more and more good items that you can find using retail arbitrage um, as, a, you know, a great supplement to your business. See you in the next video, guys.